Taking notes while your professor is discussing can sometimes be stressful. There are times that you cannot cope up with their speed and you don't have a choice but to skip some information not included in the PowerPoint. So today, I will be sharing with you my digital note-taking system. I will be using OneNote in this video, and uh, this one really helped me a lot, and it worked for me. Disclaimer, this may or may not work for you, but why not try it? I've been using this note-taking system when online classes started last 2020, and it really helped me a lot, like a lot. And also, please be reminded that this will be in an online setting. I will be breaking down this video into three parts. First, I will show you the things I do before my professor discuss lessons, and I will include setting up my notebook in OneNote, and next is on taking notes during the discussion and the things I do after it. So this includes fixing notes and printing them on my binder. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Preparing notebooks in OneNote. Before school or new semester starts, I usually create a bunch of digital notebooks in OneNote. So to do that, click Add Notebooks and save it on your OneDrive account. You can create a separate folder to organize all of your semester subjects. Next is to name your notebooks based on your subject and click Create. After adding the notebooks, you can edit some of its preferences, like the notebook's color, etc. So repeat the process of creating notebooks until you have your notebooks for all of your subjects. Also, on the Insert tab, you can add your notebook template so that you don't need to edit the paper size every time you will use your notebook. I have a step-by-step -step guide on how you can make your own template in this video or here. Next, let us proceed to the things I do before the discussion. So this will apply if your teacher or professor provides PowerPoint presentations or lesson modules on your learning management system before the discussion. But if they're not available yet, stay tuned, I will show you another way. And uh, so if the PowerPoint or module is available, I save it to my device and insert them or insert the content to OneNote by copying and pasting them. Then I modify the text font and color. I usually use the Benchcraft font on my notes with the font size 10, so I just keep it simple as possible. So for the title, I use a bigger font size like 12 or 13 and place the module or the lesson number and title in here. After compiling the content, we are now ready to take notes in class. During. So, so during the discussion, you have to prepare your notes before the class and you have to listen attentively. So have a dual screen. On the other side will be your OneNote notebook and on the other side of the screen will be your Zoom or any online platform that you use for online class. I do this strategy to easily include information in a specific part of the notes since some professors discuss information not included in the PowerPoint. Also recheck your teacher's presentation and keep track of what part they are currently discussing and type additional information. If you have a snipping tool on your device and if there are portions that you want to include or to add on your notes like the annotations or solutions to a math problem or an additional slide during your teacher's discussion. So if, in, if that's the case, you can use the tool to screenshot the presentation and paste it to OneNote. Just be alert and be mindful if the teacher will proceed to the next slide. So better yet, you have to capture the presentation if you think it's already full of content and maybe just follow your gut feeling if that is the case, you have to screenshot it before the presentation goes to the next slide. The strategy also applies if your teacher was not able to provide a PowerPoint presentation beforehand, so you can just use the snipping tool to screenshot the slide and paste it to OneNote. And that is basically what I do during the discussion. So if you have a free time or after your class, you can edit your notes. 
So now let us proceed to the after. So after preparing and taking your notes, you can now fix and organize them so that you can understand them more. So if there are typos in some words, OneNote can also detect them. Just click on the word and choose the correct spelling. Also, ensure that you have a cohesive font size and that the title or important terms are darkened so it will be easier for you to study. If most of your notes are still in photo form because of your screenshots and all, you can easily take out the text in OneNote. So you can right click on the photo and click Alt Text, copy the content and paste it to your notebook. This will have accurate results if the text is legible, but there are instances that there will be typos if the slide's background is full of designs. You can just modify it or you can simply wait for your teacher to upload the presentation where you can easily copy the content. Once you're done with all of the modifications, I usually print my notes on a B5 loose leaf paper. I got the dotted and grid loose leaf paper, but if they have other styles there, you can check out the link if you want to buy yours. So the printing part can be tricky, but I will show you some of the basics. So once you're done with your notes, hold the control key and select the pages on your notebook. Make sure to select them alternately as seen in here. Press Ctrl P on your keyboard. The page setting should be in the selection option. So for your paper, if you're using a loose leaf, make sure that the holes are on the printer's right side and you can now start to print it. After the front side is done, flip the paper and this time the holes should be on the left side of the printer. So going back to OneNote, just press the control key again and select the next pages like in here. They're still in an alternate manner. Then click control P. So after you're done, organize your paper. I'm just doing it like this. Place it on your binder and you can now use it to study and ace your exams. And that is all for today's video. If you have some questions or su video suggestions, feel free to comment them down below. And thank you so much guys for watching. I hope that you got something from this video. Don't forget to like this video if you find this helpful and click on the subscribe button if you want to see more school content videos. So yes, thank you so much guys for watching. and. See you on my next video. Bye, guys.